Now, with every dev stream, we get to have a look at upcoming changes to Warframe, and dev stream number 82, of course, was no different. We got to see the new Bard frame, which is totally unique, new concept, never seen before, copyrighted digital extremes. Oh, let's break it! Damn! <laughs> Indeed. Now, we were shown the new Grenier Fortress tile set, and the gameplay was from the Assault Mode mission type. Finally, we will also be able to replay quests, completely worth the two year wait. We will finally be able to replay the second dream with our favorite frame. Games, so I expect to see a lot of pink hydrides from those second dream cinematics. We also got to see new Tenogen skins that will be coming into the game soon as well, but those cost real money so I'm not going to waste time going over those, although the new Chroma skin is there so I'll wait and see what it looks like in game before I decide whether to get it or not. Now first up let's talk about the endless mission changes while farming for our prime parts. These allow us to spend a relic after each 5 waves, so when you hit 5 minutes in a survival or 5 waves in a defense and so on you will be giving the option to leave the mission or spend another relic and keep on going. Or you could of course leave and just jump back in and do another easy 5 waves entirely up to you. So this is causing a little bit of a stir at the minute, some of our players really like this change and of course there are others that don't. Now it's not really brought back the endless farming in Void missions but it has given us the option to do them if we want that added challenge so it's maybe more of a quality of life change than a bring back endless farming change. From what I can tell we get to keep the previous rewards as well so it's not like you're giving up the previous reward for the chance at a new one, you get to keep everything that you have earned. Now I honestly don't know what to make of this change, on one side it's great to have that option again with the endless reward system but it's still at a cost of one relic for one prime part, which means you're going to have to continue to farm as many relics as possible. Our old prime farming system basically allowed us to get multiple prime parts with just one key, whereas with the relics, it's at a cost of one to one. It's looking like we can forget about the old loot heavy system for now on. It's never coming back. It's basically one relic for one piece, and we're just going to have to get used to it. But they did say that these endless changes are still a work in progress and that they will be tweaking it, not sure in what way. If they increase the amount of traces we can get from these endless missions then it might make it worthwhile but if it stays the way it is now then chances are most players will just jump in do a quick five waves and then rinse and repeat let me know what you guys think of these upcoming changes to the endless system whether you like them or not of course now the new assault mode looked like a fun new mission type assaulting the grenier fortress and having to mix i guess stealth with aggression to turn off the cannon looked like it could get hectic fast if you got spotted by those sensors it's also got a timed system in there as well where you've got a certain amount of time to get to an objective they have said it's a pretty long game mode as well so that should be fun but it looked interesting the lighting and the visuals of the tile set did in fact look amazing and it will be accessible after you complete the wall within so i'm kind of looking forward to that now the bard frame which has no name yet honestly let's be honest hold your hand up it looks like a cross between lucio from overwatch and the fucking peacock that helmet, those feathers, or maybe it's something of like a band camp thing. This one time in band camp, I stuck a flute up. And yeah, you get what I mean. It looks strange. I don't know what to think of this bard frame. Let me know what you guys think of it as well. It will be interesting to see what kind of, uh, I guess, ability set it comes with. Let me know in the comment section. Steve also mentioned being able to create your own music with the bard frame which you will be able to use when using either abilities or when in a mission, so that should be really interesting. Imagine meeting those types of players in public matches with their own awful beats. Really can't wait for that. Break it down! For the final part of the dev stream, we also got to look at Mag's new deluxe skin being worked on by Raymond, and it looks really, really nice, but right now on PC, Mag has some incredible skins with the Tenogen skins. I'm not sure about whether you guys have any of those on console or not. Ember, on the other hand, has none. And I know we've seen a Grax Tenogen skin this time around, but I'll be honest, that thing looks like complete ass. Imagine this Ember as a skin. Imagine this as a deluxe skin. Fucking badass, right? Now the link to that Ember image is of course in the description below. It will take you to the designer's deviant art page. Make sure and check it out if you like that image. Make sure and let me know what you guys thought of all of the dev stream stuff, whether you liked it or didn't, or what you liked and what you didn't like. Don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video, or don't if you didn't. Subscribe for more Warframe, and as always, thanks very much for watching.